I'm James Hollins, and I'm a sneakerhead. Lydell Cole, work at Compound Gallery, and I'm a sneakerhead. The sneakerhead culture is made up of people who collect shoes as a form of collection and fashion. The shoes being collected have a large influence from sporting culture, mainly basketball, as well as the hip-hop world. To me, a sneakerhead is someone who avidly collects shoes. Uh, I actually think being a sneakerhead is kind of crazy because if you think about it, you can only wear one pair of shoes at a time. And people that have 20 to 30 to 40 pairs of shoes, it's, it's kind of absurd, but I guess it's a passion to them, so it's whatever. My definition of a sneakerhead would probably be um, someone who just is a shoe fanatic, a shoe freak, just loves shoes. Sneakerhead culture is doing whatever you got to do to get that fresh pair of sneakers, you know. Uh, I've been doing this for probably about since I was in high school, like legitimately since I was in high school. But like when I was smaller, never could afford all the sneakers. Mom couldn't afford them. Always got made fun of. So I was just like, when I grow up, get a job and have all the sneakers and make everybody hate me. So that's what I try to do. I don't think it's crazy because it's what I like, what I love. So it's not that crazy to me. Some people, it seems outrageous coming into my room and I got shoe boxes all over the place. But some people understand. The growth of the sneakerhead culture has vastly expanded into an industry that now grosses over $40 billion per year. This is in large part due to the popular brands. There's a pair of smart youngsters. Hi, kids. Hi, kids. Keds was the first to begin mass marketing sneakers in the 1950s. They were called sneakers because they were quiet to walk in. Puma was the first brand to endorse an athlete to wear their sneakers. Clyde Walt Fraser was the first athlete who played in the NBA in his signature shoe, the Puma Clydes. Then in 1986, a rookie point guard out of the University of North Carolina partnered with Nike and changed the shoe industry forever. Air Jordan. It's all in the imagination. My favorite brand of shoes would probably be Jordan. Starting with the first pair of shoes, they were actually banned from the NBA just because they didn't meet the color requirements. Here's the classic Jordan commercial after his banned sneakers incident. On September 15th, Nike created a revolutionary new basketball shoe. On October 18th, the NBA threw them out of the game. Fortunately, the NBA can't stop you from wearing them. Air Jordans from Nike. And Nike said, it's all right. Um, we'll pay your fine. And by paying his fine, it brought a lot of uh, attention and publicity to his shoes, which made a lot of people like his shoes and made the shoes even more special. My favorite pair of shoes would probably be the Air Jordan 11s. Um, one, because he wore those shoes in the movie Space Jam, and as a kid, um, that was my favorite movie growing up. And just to have him, see him wearing them and have him being my idol, um, those would just probably be my favorite pair of shoes. And just because they're so rare and hard to find, and that's probably the main reason why those are my favorite pair of shoes. My favorite movie growing up was Back to the Future. You know, Marnie McFly from the movie, he had the McFly uh, Hyper Dunks. And so when they came out with those, right. I had to get those. And uh, I waited in line all night to get those McFlys.